Hi, this is the SP Architect. We continue where we left from and continue with the BIM tool. We are going to activate the BIM tool located here. When that is active, we click on the screen for starting point and click a second time to finish the destination. Let's look at what we have in elevations. We click the west elevation. Right click and open with current view. We can see that this beam was created on the ground floor but its position is on the upper level. Although the home story is zero, we can change it from here. And length of the beam can be directly changed from here. For example, I input here 6 meters. Here this part we can change its reference axis and offset. If I click this, you will see that position of the beam changed, but blue line is not. I carry this elevation to here for close looking, right click and open. For the end angle, we can use this button. For example, I input here 45 degrees. For the starting angle, we can use this button. For example, I input here 45 degrees. If you want to change the slope with an angle, you can use this button and input an angle. Or this one on the screen. Length can be changed from here. And the thickness can be changed from here. Let's go to 3D. If we click this corner, we can do the same changing as floor plan, but we can make curve too. Or we can add division points by this button. Can be turned back to straight beam again. And we can change the position of the parts. For the further settings, we can just go to settings by hitting Ctrl plus T. We can change the section size, sloping dimension, ending angles, reference axis. We can change the segment settings as we did for the column tool. Parts can be selected here and seen from here. To change the surface, we need to overwrite them first from here. Each material part can be overrided separately. Part dimensions can be changed separately too for different purpose. This is a whole beam. It has got different parts though. It acts like a basic beam and edit it. For example, we can only want to change this part. And we can add additional parts by this add button. Selected parts profile can be changed here. And structure type. Structure type determines the field pattern and visibility order in the sections. Here you can see whole design X draw out the beam. I want to make an example for you to understand better. I select the beam and make a simple one on the ground floor. After that I go to south elevation and click the corner and make a slope with the slope button to the ground. I click this corner and stretching down after that I increase the angle. Then change the bottom and top angle to horizontal. I click the beam. Then 
add a part from here. Then choose a level position close to ground and close to top part. Once I have this, I'm just going to go to cross section size and click the taper type. I input here 40 cm each part, 30 cm for the end. I'm going to make same changes for the other parts. I go to second part, click this one, input here 25 cm. And input 20 cm for the ending dimensions. I go to third part, leave with basic type, input here 15 cm. Once I have done this, I'm gonna click the reference line and make the curve. After I make a curve, I change the main shape of the curve with the corner point of the beam on the reference line. I decided this shape and I am going to take symmetry of this shape from the top corner. There we go. I go to ground floor plan and select the beams then press Ctrl plus U from keyboard for the copy. I copy this along to about 10 meters. After doing this I go to shell tool and change its structure type. When the shell command is active I click the ground floor then click the extrusion point then click the slope direction. I'm going to use this shell and combine with the beams. I am going to go to elevation and carry this to ground level. After I stick one corner to ground level, I'm going to click other corner of the shell and move to top corner of the beams. Now I need to change this curve shape. I want this same angle and match with the beams. I use reference line for this. I go to thickness box and change its distance. I'm going to make it 10 cm. I want this shall be visible when we look from outside. But these are on the same level at the top. I need to offset. But when I offset this, ending corner's position was also changed. If these were walls, I could use simply intersect them, but I cannot do this time. I simply change positions of the corners. When I have done first one, I take mirror of it. I go to 3D, click ending points of the shells, and move them to the inner part of the last columns. I am going to do this for the both shells and for the both starting and ending parts. Once I have this, I alt click a beam, then press Ctrl plus A from keyboard to select them all, then change their surface. I overwrite the them all to change, there are three parts we created, we need to change three of them separately. Even if we don't want to do this by that way, we can change structure type only, but we need to change its properties. I am going to choose the dark grey color from here and for other parts. After that I am going to change shell surface. Everyone knows that deciding materials is the one of the most difficult part of making architectural designs. And it takes some time. There we go. We have our structure. We have used beams and shells together. We only need a ground for this one. I just go to slab tool for this and make an easy and simple one. Here you can see that structural order nicely done. Let's go to settings and click overwrite 
decide a proper surface for this slab, for example, stone covering. Ok, we have done this building. In this tutorial you have learned how to use beam tool for your designs and combine with other tools. Thank you for watching. See you at the next one.